Hey, my name is Vanessa Hansen. I am a grid operations shift supervisor for Salt River Project in Phoenix, Arizona. I grew up in Page, Arizona, right next to beautiful Lake Powell, and I currently live in Gilbert, Arizona, which is a suburb of Phoenix. I am half Navajo. My Navajo clan is Twitich Eatney, and my grandparents are Batatni and Twitich Eatney. I think to everyone, water means life. It's a source that is necessary for all life to be sustainable on Earth. So in the community that I live in now, I am in a desert. So water is scarce and a precious commodity here. One of the ways that the area um, tries to make more of the commodity is by using dams and reservoirs to store water when we have a lot of rain so that we can use it when we don't have a lot of rain. And then um, subsequently the company that I work for uses that also by turning the water that we give to the farmers in the community. Um, <clears throat> we run it through turbines and generate electricity out of it too. So we make nice, cheap, sustainable, green energy for everyone also. When you think of water outside of just drinking it or, you know, bathing, brushing your teeth, you know, the common things that you do every day, I think it does come down to recreation. And like I said, I grew up um, right next to Lake Powell and I have early memories of going to the lake with my family. And it was a beautiful lake. It still is a beautiful lake. I remember parking up on Lakeshore Drive and hiking down the cliffs with a bucket of chicken, you know, and <laughs> jumping off cliffs into the water with my siblings and then climbing back out of there when we were done. It was, uh, it was pretty fantastic. Like I said, if you go back 120 years, you know, before the reservoirs and the dams were here, there was the Salt River um, and the Agua Fria River that came into the valley. But other than floods or droughts, you know, there wasn't, there wasn't any regulation to the water. So I think the only change with water in this community is putting those resources in place to try and regulate the type of water that's coming into the valley or the amount of water, not necessarily the type. I hear about water usage as far as the rivers in the valley go through work. But again, that's because it's part of what Salt River Project does. But I think if I wasn't in the company, I don't think I would hear about it at all, other than, you know, what my utility bill said. I think the, the biggest change in growing up is that you just become aware that it is a limited resource, and so you're, you're more conscious of not wasting it. You know, um, I know when I was little and I was brushing my teeth, you know, I'd leave the sink water running and then go wander the house while I was brushing my teeth, you know, without giving it a second thought. <laughs> and then, you know, as an adult, you know, it's much more conscientious and not only that, but extending it to my children also telling them, you know, don't leave water running, you know, use what you need, turn it off, you know, don't, don't be wasteful. And then just trying to extend that everywhere, you know, looking for leaks, you know, if there's a, Oh, yeah, like if there's a, a toilet that's leaking by because it's got a bad valve, you know, not only is it a waste that you can hear, but you see it, you know, when your bill comes in and your bill's 50% higher. <laughs> so, you know, there are other penalties <laughs> to wasting water. You know, you just, you turn a faucet, you expect water to be there. You don't really think about where it comes from. And just understanding that it is a, it's a finite resource, you know, it's not always going to be there. It's not always prevalent. I mean, we are in a, what, 20 year drought now, you know, it's just, I think, important to understand that there are ways that you can conserve water and that you should do that at every available opportunity to ensure that you have water yourself for the rest of your life. You know, I think that's the most important thing, because like I said, without it, we can't, we can't sustain life.